room. We can switch it up. Hey lovelies, welcome back to my channel, Cruelty Free Models, a place to discover the industry's top models and industry professionals. We'll also be talking about all things cruelty free, and as always, have a little fun. So today we are going to be talking about some cruelty free products for specifically hand models. Now I know that's not a mainstream modeling profession, but you guys would be surprised how many hand models there are, how much they're making, and how many advertisements you really see that are using hand models from jewelry to uh, male tutorials to just everyday products. So yeah, let's get started. Now, before we get down to the nitty gritty, um, I do want to go over again what cruelty free is for those of you that might not know or those of you just beginning this cruelty free journey. Um, cruelty free basically means that a product does not uh, means I'm sorry, a brand does not test any of its products on animals anywhere during the production process, whether that is ingredients, formulations or the finished product um, that's anywhere in the world. And that includes uh, whether the brand itself does the testing or whether they contract a third party um, or someone else to do it for them. So yeah, just wanted to get that out of the way. I do think it's important to note that just because a brand has um, cruelty free or not tested on animals or even uses a cute little bunny logo does not necessarily mean that they're actually cruelty free. Um, basically, brands will use loopholes or they'll get around this in a way um, by saying that, oh, well, we don't, um, we don't test our products on animals, but what they're not telling is that they've contracted someone else to do so for them. Also, they could be just referring to the finished product when, um, most animal testing goes on during the ingredients process anyway. So they could just not be telling you that they could just be referring to that finished product. So yeah. If you want to be absolutely sure that a product or brand is truly is cruelty free, you definitely want to make sure they are certified by a organization such as Leaping Bunny, uh, Choose Cruelty Free or uh, PETA's Beauty Without Bunnies program. So, yeah. So having a long lasting career as a hand model definitely will come down to maintenance, which means having a really great uh, uh, skincare regimen. Um, so a hand model will definitely know what it takes to keep your skincare in check, especially on your hands. So yeah, I wanted to go over uh, at least the top five um, recommended um, skincare products for hand models. And this can be used whether you're a hand model or not. You know, if you just want to keep your hands really soft and looking nice or, or your skin in general, these are definitely five to check out that are cruelty free. So yes, um, some of the top uh, hand models, in case you're wondering, are Adele Udo, and forgive me if I'm pronouncing any of these names wrong, Adele Udo, Nina Taylor, Ellen Surratt, Ashley Covington, Kimbra Hickey, and James Farino. And I promise you that you've all probably seen every single one of these hand models at some point uh, during your lifetime. So yeah. So the first product that I want to talk about, and this is in um, no particular order, um, is, I hope I say this right, Aya natural and um specific specifically a natural moisturizing hand cream now this hand cream is rich in essential elements such as vitamins minerals antioxidants and fatty acids uh it's ex it's ex exceptionally well for hands that are prone to dryness and of uh cracking that sort of thing and um it uses all natural ingredients with an emphasis on Galilean extra virgin olive oil, which as most of us know is really great for moisturization, 
So yeah, AN Natural Hand Cream offers healthy skin protection with a high quality plant-based recipe that actually works. So definitely a good one to check out. I'll leave a link in the description below. Next up is Thesis Organic Body Cream. Now, some say prevention is the true key to uh, the fountain of youth, which I can definitely uh, agree with. Um, one of the things that's helped me to try to, to stay youthful at almost 40 years old is sunscreen, which is all about prevention, of course, prevention of sun damage. Um, but this is organic hand and body cream is definitely one of those things that keeps your skin moisturized, looking healthy, that healthy glow. Um, and it is certified cruelty free and not will, will not only prevent wrinkles, but it's packed full of vitamin E, which we all know is uh, known to reduce the signs of aging. So um, for those of you that don't know, hands are usually one of those things that they're like the one of the first things to show signs of aging. So it's definitely one of those things you want to uh, take care of um, as a dog groomer for 15 years. It was so important for me to keep my hands moisturized at all times. Um, it was constantly in the water, constantly in dog hair and all of that, all of that stuff. So uh, uh, I can definitely say that it, this is a really important thing. It's definitely something you want to check out. Um, just using a product that has a super high percentage of uh, fully organic ingredients um, is a great start in just combating those issues with your hands. So definitely check out Thesis Organic Body Cream. It sounds like good stuff and they're cruelty free. All right, so next up on the list of recommended products by Hand Miles is Aesop's Resurrection Aromatic Hand Balm. Just the, just the term balm to me just sounds so moisturizing, so creamy. Um, and with that being said, um, this hand balm has really luscious ingredients such as rosemary leaf, cedar atlas, and mandarin rind. And this hand balm really glides on with a like a supple feel and it's completely has a greaseless finish. So that's good news. <laughs> it's both nourishing and loaded with hydration and it works well in most skin types, leaving your hands feeling super soft and healthy looking. If you need an added boost of moisture, take hand model like Lakai Lies. I hope I sound, I'll just put it up here for you guys. <laughs> take her advice and use Aesop's body balm formula on the hands instead. So just because it's just because something doesn't specifically say it's for hands doesn't mean you can't use it for your hands. So this is one to uh, definitely try out according to this particular hand model. I'm not going to try to say your name again and butcher it. Okay, you guys. So next up is Beauty Without Cruelty Hand and Body Lotion. And I love that they just put it in the name. Just put it right on out there. Cruelty, beauty without cruelty, hand and body lotion. So the name pretty much sums it up. Like I said, you can be beautiful without being cruel. Why you gotta be so cruel? Oh wait, it's rude. I'm sorry. But we can switch it up. Why you gotta be so cruel? And that is what this fabulous, creamy, and helpful hand and body lotion is all about. Uh, it's certified both vegan and cruelty free. And it is abundant in healing antioxidants and fully pH balanced. The highly absorbent formula both softens and moisturizes, providing a skin protective barrier while also nourishing and replenishing the skin on your hands. So yes. So let's see, which ones have we named off so far? So I've said Aya Natural Moisturizing Hand Cream, Thesis Organic Body Cream, Aesop's Resurrection Aromatic Hand Balm, <clears throat> and Beauty Without Cruelty Hand and Body Lotion. So we got one more to go, and that is Burt's Bees Lavender and Honey Hand Cream. So not only is this 
hand cream, one of the least expensive on the list, uh, but it also hands down smells the best. Uh, it's nourishing, moisturizing, but this formula is made up of natural ingredients such as pumpkin seed oil, pumpkin seed oil and shea butter, and it will leave your hands movie star beautiful, oh so soft, and smelling absolutely wonderful. So yes. And just to give you guys some tips and tricks um, <clears throat> from hand models, um, they recommend avoiding cuticle cutters because cutting your cuticles, cuticles can cause damage, making them more jagged and causing them to grow back tougher and harder to manage. Instead, use cuticle oil or cream, then gently push back your cuticles. <clears throat> Next, uh, avoid nail, stains, nail staining. Um, just avoid this altogether by using a base coat. If you uh, forget to do so, um, it's easy to remove just by gently buffing the surface of your nail. And uh, typically, because typically staining is only like surface level deep, so not too big of a huge issue. But if you're able to avoid it, then definitely, yeah, definitely um, stay away from that. Um, they also recommend overnight hand masks. Um, and it seems you can DIY this. I don't recommend DIYing too many uh, skincare products or beauty products, but um, this one seems relatively simple and easy. You're basically going to be using a deep conditioning face mask on your hands. Um, it's going to help refresh, rejuvenate, and just moisturize your hands. Uh, it says apply a generous amount of hand lotion followed by your cuticle oil before placing them in a pair of cotton overnight gloves and just leaving that for the night. And when you wake up, they are going to look super soft, super amazing, super moisturized. So definitely give this one a try. I'm gonna have to try that out myself. Okay, uh, next tip is to consider regular paraffin wax treatments. Uh, paraffin wax treatments can do wonders for the skin on your hands. Receiving or doing a treatment at home once a week will leave your hands looking younger, smoother, and feeling really, really, really soft. All right, you guys, so there you have it. You have got five cruelty-free hand uh, loving products that you can try. Um, tell me, let me guys know if you've ever considered hand modeling. Like, I think like I've heard, I'd heard of it before, but I didn't know how big of an industry it actually was and how much you could actually make. From what I gather, you can make two to five thousand dollars a day. So, <laughs> was this something that you guys would actually consider like doing? It sounds super interesting and super lucrative. So, yeah. Um, thank you guys again for watching this video. Let me know any thoughts. Um, if I made any mistakes or if anything I said isn't cruelty free, just fact check me in the comments. <clears throat> And if you have any other more suggestions, just leave it in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching this video and be sure to subscribe, like it, and leave a comment in the description. All right.